Gate one, worthy cause. So they're all in. Stand by for race seven, lighters on. Right to go, gates open racing and Worthy Cause came out nicely with Sam Booker shot on the outside and Daffin Alpha's up to third. Fourth there is Hofgarten in company with on the outside Desert General and then we've got Mischievous Devil followed by Jesse Bell who's gone back to second last and last of all is Ella Wisdom about five lengths behind the second last horse. So Daffin Alpha's got the lead by two lengths now from Sam Booker shot a similar breakaway third Desert General and then Worthy Cause who's fourth the rail and going forward is Mischievous Devil on the outside. A length to Hofgarten. Two further back to Jesse Bell. And Ella Wisdom five to six lengths away last of all. Daffin Alpha the 500 metres mark. Led by a length and a half to Sam Booker's shot. Desert General. Worthy cause nearer the inside. Mischievous Devil's out wider. And then Hofgarten, Jesse Bell and Ella Wisdom five lengths away. At the 375 and Daffin Alpha the leader. From on the outside now Mischievous Devil. Worthy cause one horse away from the rail. And here's Hofgarten coming down the outside. Hofgarten out wider. Worthy cause, Hofgarten, Worthy cause with 100 metres left to go. Worthy cause, Hofgarten, Jesse Bell late down the outside. Hofgarten's just in front of Worthy cause and Hofgarten, Heathcote again. Hofgarten won it by a long neck to Worthy cause and third, Jesse Bell. They raced right away from a photo for Desert General Daffinell followed by Mischievous Devil, Sam Booker shot and the last one was Ella Wisdom. Hofgarten gives Robert Heathcote a winning treble. Number one, Damien Brown, the winning rider, the buffering combination. D Brown, R Heathcote and Hofgarten rolls the favourite worthy cause. Jesse Bell from near the back of the field has run third. And they've spaced the others. Fourth will be Desert General, possibly ahead of Daffin Elf, but not much between that pair. It's one, three and six. Hofgarten the winner. Damien Brown for Robert Heathcote, defeating worthy cause. Luke Dittman, John Zilke. Third, Jesse Bell, Jimmy Orman for Luke Oliver. Twelve has run four, Desert General. Eight ran fifth, Daffin Elf. So it's one, three and six. One, three and six. Twelve fourth and eight fifth. The overall time is one ten forty four. One ten forty four. Half a length by a length. Half a length by a length. One ten forty four. 34.51 the last 600. Good horse. That's his 10th win. Start 36. And resumes a winner today. So uh, three for Heathcote after. Kaiser Franz won the first, ridden by Damien Brown. And then be what you want to be for Michael Carl. Took out the tail stakes. So winning double to D Brown and a treble to Heathcote. So it's 1, 3 and 6 after the running of the Ascot handicap. 12, 4, 8, 5th. 1, 10, 44, 34, 51. Half a length by a length after race 7. All right, Michael O'Leary, the foreman, is just on the phone to Robert Heathcote now. Rob can't believe uh, his day he's had the here. He is, of course, in Hong Kong. And Michael O'Leary just giving him the rundown on the race. I think he listened to the earlier races, but he may have missed this one. So hopefully Michael will join us shortly. But Hofgarten, what a mighty horse he is. And he was in for a right fight too with Worthy Cause. Probably had to cover a little bit more ground than Worthy Cause, but there were plenty of half a length between these horses in the end. They're, they're two gallant horses. And, of course, Jessie Bell's done a great job. She's finished in uh, third spot. So it wasn't hard to find those three. It was just what order they were going to lob in. And, Michael, here's a treble for you. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Bernie. It's great. Yeah, the Hoff, he's a mighty horse, isn't he? Yeah, he's one of the stable favourites, actually, so it's good. I've heard the Hoff actually does really follow him. Is that true? Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> oh, come on. Just run with it anyway. Uh, you liked him this morning, obviously. He's, he's easy to like. Yeah, um, his work on Tuesday was really good. Um, during the week he's just been jumping out of his skin and we come here pretty confident so good ride from Brownie too. Big carnival in store for him? Uh, look I just spoke to Rob, um, he, he's, he's good up to anything up to a mile, uh, we haven't ruled out the Stradbroke, um, so yeah Rob's got a few options there anyway. So. Going to keep him on the, on the fresher side to the, perhaps the more sprinting distances? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Anything up to 1,200, uh, 1,600, I'd say. He certainly didn't disgrace himself last time in when he stretched him to the journey. 
No, exactly. Look, Rob's always have a ve uh, very high opinion of him. That's why we, Rob took him to Melbourne, and he didn't disgrace himself at all. Um, he just had a tough prep, um, and yeah, hopefully now he can really show his true colours. Enjoy the treble. You can let your hair down now. Well done. Thanks, Bernie. <laughs> all right, they've still got another runner to come in the last race here, actually, but all honours go with Hofgarten. Let's head back to Rose Hill and hear from Glenn Schofield.